Welcome back, folks, to a special episode, as today is the release of Star Wars Squadrons. And alongside that, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Star Wars Black Series Empire Strikes Back 40th Anniversary Imperial TIE Fighter Pilot by Hasbro. So, here's the box for you. And the back side. And as always, let's not waste any time and get right down to business. So here he is. And unfortunately, I don't have the original release of this guy, which was an old blue line release. So I can't compare him for you, unfortunately. But I do have something else I can use for a comparison for you. While it's not another pilot, it's something a little bit cooler. So this is the Black Series First Order Special Forces TIE Fighter. I picked this up a while ago, and I got rid of the figure since because I'm not collecting sequel series figures anymore. But the TIE Fighter is just as cool anyway. Sure, I wish it were Imperial colors, but I don't mind really. So he's the same size anyway, so he'll fit in there real good. And that's going to be his new home, I think. Just figure I'll show you guys that in case you have the uh, TIE Fighter and you want to see, you know, how they look together. Pretty good, I think. So first things first, let's go over the articulation. The head can only get about 90 degree turn without uh, risking pulling these hoses off. Oh, wait a second. Okay, I thought I broke it. No, the hoses can actually come out. And then you can turn it all 360. It does not appear that the chest panel can come off, but I mean, if you get creative, you can make it come off. Not to say it'll go back on though. Arms T-pose out to 90 degrees. There are no butterfly joints on this guy, so that's kind of unfortunate. Elbows are single joint and about 90 degrees. Some pretty old school articulation. I wouldn't be surprised if this is the uh, same articulation as the old blue line version, but uh, oh well, I'm happy I got a TIE Fighter Pilot. So right hand is a trigger finger, left hand is a holding hand, wrists spin 360, right hand is a horizontal pivot, left hand is also a horizontal pivot, I don't know. I don't know. Stay. And there is a swivel at the elbows, allowing it to go 360 all the way around. The torso does not do a whole lot of forward and backward articulating, but it does 360 all the way. Splits out about that far. Thighs spin all the way around. The holster is not attached to the leg, so you don't have to worry about pulling it off. Knees are double jointed. Comes up that far for you. Ankles come down to there. And up to there. And I do a complete... Ankle snap. Okay, articulation, check. We've got a holster here, the E11. Goes in there nicely. Now let's see how well he holds it in his hands. I've always loved these guys. These uh, Imperial Tie Pilots look really cool. I like the breathing tubes on them. They're very reminiscent to uh, real life fighter pilots. Trigger finger goes nicely into the trigger loop. Hold it pretty decent with the uh, two horizontal rotating hands if you uh, rotate them. Those breathing tubes really kind of get in the way of trying to make them hold a blaster properly. And he's aiming it. But uh, you can get it. Just a little bit of a challenge. 
but there it is. And the hose does not come out of the chest panel either, only out of the helmet. I guess that's mainly so you avoid breaking it like I've done with my Jet Trooper. Now, I'm pretty sure he also has uh, hoses that come out of his helmet. Yeah, like so. There's a small peg in there. It goes nicely in there. This one did not come out so easily. So, uh, yeah, that happened, and I need to really glue that back on. I still haven't done that yet. So this one, the pegs are uh, a little bigger, so they don't fall apart so easily. Thank you, Hasbro, for that. So let me give you some close-ups on the figure here so you can see some of the details. So really do a pretty good job on these. I'm always happy to add more to my collection. As it adds more photo taking opportunities. Because dang, these guys look good. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video for some glam shots. And if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a like and a comment with any questions you might have. And if you like this video and want more reviews on other figures, primarily Black Series, consider hitting subscribe as I do a lot of those reviews and some tutorials here and there. Otherwise, have a great day.